Here at the Donald Brent School of Information and Computer Science in informatics, we have our undergraduate degree program in computer game science. Part of the vision that we want to share with the students is not just learning how to make games that are popular in the entertainment industry, but games that can be used for workforce development or industrial application or making new kinds of business processes or socio-cultural processes as we've seen with now the rise of social media creating all new sorts of experiences for people. We believe that those kinds of experiences are going to increasingly have the opportunity to be game-based. The computer game industry, California is the world leader in that industry. Here at UCI, we can produce highly educated students who can help sustain and expand a leading industry in California that's very future-oriented and future-friendly. Kids will learn how to not only uh, design and make games, but also learn about the social informatics uh, around games and the human-computer interaction and how people can work together through games. I mean, we have a very interesting idea of imagine going to your workplace and part of the work you do is play games. We have certainly an enlightened faculty here that can help make that future come forward. So my uh, oldest daughter graduated from UCI a number of years ago, who's now a game producer at a company called Kabam in San Francisco. They've released one of the new Star Wars games that she was one of the co-producers on. So it's just sort of an example of how people have come out of the local environment are able to move into the entertainment side of the industry fairly quickly. But what we're also now starting to see is the large traditional partners of academic computer science, like the aerospace companies, the telecommunications companies, the IT companies, that are now giving a bit more preference in recruiting to students who have a background in games over those that have just, say, have a background in programming.